So in today's video, we're gonna be looking at these three menu items here, checkout, order bump, and one-click upsells. Now, if you have no idea what these are and you've never seen them, then that's good because you're actually using the new version of WooFunnels and you don't need to know what these are. But if you were using WooFunnels or the plugins from the WooFunnels team that were released over the last couple of years, you might be familiar with these and you might have them in your admin menu and you might be wondering, do you still need them? Or if you're watching older YouTube videos here on YouTube and you're seeing in the videos that people have these, but you're installing WooFunnels and you don't see them, then I want to explain why you don't actually need these anymore. So that's what we're going to cover in this video. And then what I'm going to do after this is I'm going to show you how to recreate this functionality under the funnels area, because what's happened in summary is that these were released as separate plugins, uh, you know, a while ago. Now they're all combined into the one WooFunnels plugin and everything can be built under this one funnels area. Uh, without further ado, let's show you how to recreate what's under here inside just the funnels area. So the easiest way to explain, you know, why we had these in the past and now everything can be built just under the funnels area is by showing you how this worked and then showing you how to go and recreate it. So firstly, how does this work? So one click upsells if we click into it. So I've got this beanie upsell here. So let's click into this. And here I have offers. So I'm showing a t-shirt as an upsell and then I have a belt as a downsell. And if we go to the rules area, I'm showing these offers if the product that is purchased in the cart contains at least one beanie. So when would these offers under one click upsells fire? So the first one is in our global checkout. So what is our global checkout? Just to quickly get everyone up to speed. If we go into WooFunnels and go to settings and then under checkouts, global checkout, you can see my global checkout page. And it says here, selected checkout page will replace the default WooCommerce checkout page. So if we go to our storefront and we go to our shop and we add some products to cart and then we go to the checkout page. So this here is a global checkout in the context of the WooFunnels plugin. So the global checkout is the checkout page that your customers reach when they're browsing your normal WooCommerce website and the catalog, adding products to cart and then going to this page here. So if we go back here and we go to one click upsells, these one click upsells fire when somebody goes through your global checkout and they purchase purchase and then these one click upsells check what items were purchased and then based on the rules for these offers it then shows the offers and then after that they go to the thank you page so up until this point we need to make clear that these one click upsells fire when somebody purchases from the global checkout based on the rules now another instance where these could actually go and fire is under checkouts so here under checkouts we could go ahead and create a new checkout page and this might be for a specific product that we're trying to sell uh, so an example might be we are setting a uh, it's like a Mother's Day sale coming up and we have a Mother's Day beanie it says best mum in the world and so we, we want to run Facebook ads directly to a page that sells this beanie for Mother's Day and then people would click to go to this checkout page here where they would purchase the beanie for Mother's Day so we'll say beanie for Mother's Day and we'll click add now the design we're just gonna select this one here and then I'm quickly just gonna edit this template and I'm just gonna edit this image and we're just gonna add the image of the beanie just so this tutorial makes a little bit of sense as we're going through like so and we'll click update okay so now that's done and we're going to go to products and we're going to add a product and it's going to be for the beanie we'll add that and click add product and here it's going to be 50 percent off the regular price and we're going to save this and now if we go ahead and we preview this we can see that we have our checkout page here it adds the beanie to the person's cart and they can go through and purchase it now when somebody purchases from this checkout page behind the scenes the the one click upsells under here, they have the rules here and they're also checking the items in that cart and then they would go through and trigger this. So if this group of upsells here triggers if somebody purchases a beanie in their cart, obviously this checkout they're purchasing a beanie, confirm order, this rule would fire and then these offers would show. So one click upsells, they would fire under our global checkout and they would also fire for any checkouts that were created here. So the missing link here when uh, WooFunnels had these plugins here where these were all separate plugins is that there was no funnels. So you can notice that we have our checkout page here, but where would we go and create the sales page that would explain the offer to get this Mother's Day beanie? So we would back in the day have to go and go under pages and create a new page, do the sales page there to sell the beanie. And then that sales page would click. You'd have a button there and that URL would then go to this checkout page. People would purchase and then behind the scene, the one click upsells would check what was in the 
the cart and then they would fire. So now if you've been using WooFunnels for a while, you don't need to go and create a page here for the sales page for the beanie that clicks through to the checkout that was created under here and then have the upsells fire here where it's all disjointed. Now, when you install WooFunnels and you click under funnels here, you can go ahead and create a whole funnel where the landing page would sell the beanie, this checkout would just be for that beanie and then you would add your upsells that would fire just for that beanie and then it would go to the thank you page. So that's why now when you install WooFunnels, you don't have these menu items here because they're redundant. They, they actually were a little bit more cumbersome than what you have available to you now under just this one funnels area. So now for the remainder of this video, I wanna show you how you'd go and recreate these under just the funnels area. So if we go to funnels, you can see that I have one funnel here and it has this hyphen and it says global. So if we click into that, I have a checkout page and then I have a group of upsells there, a group of upsells there, and then a thank you page. So this checkout page is called my global checkout page. And if we go to settings and then checkout and then global checkout, it says my global checkout page. So what that's doing, if we go back to that funnel, is it's saying this is my global checkout page. So when somebody adds products to cart in my normal WooCommerce website and they reach the checkout page, they add products to cart, go to the checkout page. This checkout page is this checkout step here. And then the upsells under here are what's going to fire after the global checkout. So that would be these here. These one click upsells that were here would now be here. So if I open this, this beanie where it has a group of offers that fire under specific rules, that would be here. So if we click into this, you'll see that it's exactly the same settings. I have my offers and then I have the rules under which it would fire. So products contain at least one beanie with logo. So if somebody goes through my global checkout and they purchase and in their cart, they've purchased one of the beanies with a logo, then this group of offers would fire as shown here. And then it would just work top to bottom in terms of the hierarchy. Now, I just wanted to point out that one thing that I was concerned with is that in my main WooCommerce website, under one click upsells, we've been adding upsells for quite a while here. So we have over 200 upsells in this area. So I was wondering if I go back here and I add 200 of these upsell steps to this one funnel here, will that slow down performance on the front end and the back end? So WooFunnels said that it's not gonna slow down the back end editing. So even if I have my global checkout step here, my thank you page here and 200 of these here, apparently that won't slow it down. Um, I, I can't confirm that because I haven't got around to doing that just yet. But then also on the front end, I was wondering if that's gonna slow down the front end when somebody's going through the checkout process. And apparently what happens is behind the scenes, WooFunnels and the code is very smart. So if somebody goes to my checkout page, before somebody actually goes and purchases, WooFunnels and the underlying code is already working out what upsell step will fire before somebody actually purchases. So when somebody completes their purchase, it just goes straight to that upsell step and then it goes to the thank you page. So that was really good to know. And uh, yeah, basically if you have a lot of upsells here, I don't think based on the uh, questions that I asked and the feedback that I got from the WooFunnels support team, we shouldn't be con con um, concerned about performance issues there. So that's how you would go and replace the one-click upsells with just the funnels area here. And that's why this doesn't show out of the box. Now these order bumps, they've just been moved here under the checkout steps here. So I have two here, beanie and belt. And this one, if we click into the beanie, this one shows the beanie and we could do say 50% off the regular price, save that. And then this will show if the cart total is greater than $10. So if we go back to our global checkout, we're over $10, continue to shipping, scroll down. And then we have our beanie showing there. If I refresh it, it will show uh, the 50% off. But I think you guys get the idea. That's how you would go and recreate these under the funnels area. Now checkouts. So if we went into this again, uh, we have our global checkout and then we had these specific checkouts that we create for specific offers like the Mother's Day beanie and other separate sales things where we just want to have a checkout page that has an assigned product that people purchase from that checkout page. So that is redundant now because as you probably know, WooFunnels creates entire sales funnels now. So we have our one sales funnel here that is our global checkout and everything else is its own separate funnel. So this has its own landing page. We open this, right? This would sell the Mother's Day beanie. And this is where you would design it using your favorite page builder. You would click and then this would go to the checkout page where it has just that Mother's Day beanie and it's already in their cart. And then when they purchase, then that triggers the upsells that you've assigned to that funnel and then goes to the thank you page. So that should clarify why you don't see these anymore when you activate a newer version of WooFunnels. It's not removed, it's just been uh, redesigned and in a much more powerful way. I sort of came across this when I was trying 
trying to uh, make some WordPress tutorials here on YouTube about Autonami and WooFunnels, just sharing what I've learned and some of the things that I want to learn to move into my main WooCommerce store. Basically, just share how I do things into different videos here. Uh, if you have any questions about stuff that you want to know how to do with Autonami or WooFunnels, let me know and I'll see if I can make a video on it. I've been releasing them semi-regularly uh, over the last month. This one shows you how to create a Shopify checkout using uh, WooFunnels. This one shows you how to create a multi-step form and when to use them. Uh, this one shows you how to redirect to a custom thank you page. And then this one here I released yesterday. Uh, this one actually I, I just wanted to work out for myself. And uh, it's basically how to send coupon codes to your customers using Autonami where the coupon code has your customer's name in it. And uh, yeah, basically I worked out and made it into a video. But yeah, let me know if you want to uh, have a video made with anything that you want to know how to do with WooFunnels or Autonami. And uh, yeah, I'll see if I can make a video for it.